Well guys, I already knew the trip was worth it to move out here, but it was really worth it after I rode my electric bicycle. So where did I ride to? Well, I rode here. From this point, you can kind of see Silicon Valley a little bit. Not, not high enough to see a really awesome view, but still, you can see mountains. There's actually something to see here when you go for a bike ride, as opposed to Illinois, there's just more corn, or more fields, or more trees. But here, there's actually mountains. Look at that, mountains. And I'm standing on a mountain too. Eh, more like a hill around a mountain, but whatever. Even though that's pretty cool, I think you guys would also be interested in knowing about how the trike handled and the kit that I got. Let's get my, my backpack with extra tools because I didn't want to ride without tools, you know. It's, it's the maiden voyage or whatever. I got the same 48 volt, 1000 watt hub motor kit that I got last time from the same seller on eBay. I think it's X Series X C C E R I E S. And. I would actually say that I, I would I would promote uh, their their eBay listing because this kit that they sell is pretty good and not counting it's actually improved a little bit since I last bought it. The first one I bought two thousand uh, in like two thousand thirteen or so, it was okay. It was it had some features that I wish it would fix though, and they did. Like one thing, this cable is too short on the first one. But they seem to have lengthened it to where it fits nicely going up and down all this stuff. So that's pretty good. They lengthened that and they did something else. They made it to where the LEDs turn off whenever you turn the thing off. Because before I had the issues of I accidentally left it on. Actually I turned it off but the LED stayed on. And that like 200 milliamps of current draw killed my batteries over three months because I forgot to use them. And I forgot to charge them. So this way, if you as long as you turn it off, it should not kill the batteries as much. But keep in mind, these batteries are much bigger than the ones I killed. The other pack was 9 amp hours, this is 24 amp hours. And yes, this is the same exact pack that I had before. It's just my mother shipped them out to me in styrofoam, so it's like, well, might as well keep them in the styrofoam for now, because the styrofoam's a nice padding. Now there's one other thing that's improved on this bike kit that I may have actually had a part of, or at least I think I, I would hope to think I did. It seems that the price of this kit has dropped by almost $100. Before it was like $280, now it's $180 for this kit. It's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to make these bikes. Uh, electric vehicles, I mean, electric bicycles. So this is awesome, and I kind of like to think, I wonder if I played a part with that in making my YouTube videos, because I've had plenty of people, like, oh, I'd say several thousand people, commenting on my videos like oh that's cool I should make one too so maybe I ha played a part in promoting how to make electric bicycles either way I'm really happy about it I really didn't want to have to bother filming it when I was making it and I didn't want to film it the first way coming out because well as I stated before bicycle rides in this busy area scare me actually just the people in this area scare me because people in general scare me and here there's more people but I have to say I think a lot of the issues was with me not having an electric vehicle or an electric motor on my trike because well having this motor on here it frees up so much of my mind not having to pedal and I, not not having to pedal I still can but I don't have to it's just so nice because see before I would get worn out and I would get stressed and I would not act predictable for other riders but with this I can pedal as much as I want, so I still get an okay amount of exercise, but I can also get where I'm, get to where I want to go quickly. There's a train track up here, look at that. So yeah, that's the best like $450 I've ever spent. And if you're wanting to build a, bike, a trike like this, you could build it for like $150 cheaper if you want it with a bicycle and keep in mind that it would cost you about $120 to make the batteries if you go with old laptop battery packs or about a thousand dollars if you want to buy it pre-made but I say spend 120 and learn how to do it yourself Ooh. luggage down there some big steel cable look at that stuff that's awesome wow look at that isn't that such a beautiful hill Oh, look at that over there. What's this? It's interesting how that's eroded down. 
holy shit. Look at that. That is deep. Wow. If we go up there, we go to a quarry, and I'm not sure if that that's allowed to, to go up there unless you're an employee. So I'd say let's go back and hang a right and see what I th think there should be a big lake or a reservoir or something over there. So cool. So this is a lake here. Can't remember the name of it. Oh well. Here we have a bunch of mountains. Now probably the locals will say they're not mountains, they're just hills, but whatever. Back behind there is a big quarry. I wish we could see that. I might be able to, I don't know though. This ride's really chomping through my battery life. So I say let's go back home and I'll rig up a charger for this so we can charge the battery. Okay guys, so I have my battery connected up to my iMac B6, which is connected up to the power supply in this computer that a friend gave me called a Shuttle X. I have a paper clip going from the green pin to the black pin to turn on the power supply. And I have power coming out to the alligator clips on the IMAX B6. Let's turn it on. It's not very good. I can hear that power supply humming. Hmm. You shouldn't be able to hear power supplies. I'm not so confident about that power supply anymore. Ooh. Yeah, this power supply is shot. Okay, so me and the landlord went through his garage and a bunch of old computers, and I found a power supply that kind of works. If we turn it on, See, it reads 12.04 volts. It's kind of low, but we can we can end up charging with about one amp, and it doesn't drop the voltage down too low. It's really pushing it though. This power supply is rated for like 16 amps. It's not given that. Oh well, it's like 10 years old though. So I would say that this electric tricycle project has evolved just enough to be really, really awesome. I am enjoying it because it's amazing how much just adding a motor makes, how much difference that makes. Things are going so well. Oh yeah. This is uh, about crossing the line to where now I feel comfortable to ride it to locations where I feel comfortable leaving it. Like, for instance, here and work. That's pretty much the only two places. If I go anywhere else, I want to have the tricycle with me at all times because anybody could steal the batteries and the motor controller or something like that. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have several more upgrades. I want to have a lockable battery box so I can... It's basically going to be like a toolbox that 
I can put all the batteries into and the motor controller and it'll it'll be like bolted to the back of the thing first of all it'll be a toolbox so that'd be pretty cool but also to have the batteries in there and I can have a lock on it so somebody just can't come up and steal the bat batteries as easily just something to deter that then later on I'm going to be welding a thing underneath it so we can actually have like battery modules that plug in so I can make one battery module and I can make another one and so the entire tricycle could run off of one or it could have all four bays hooked up or whatever or five or whatever probably just four but yeah I think that'd be very good because then each one would have a lock on it automatically so I could then like use these batteries for something else or I could r retrofit them to work in that I don't know I'll figure it out I want to have headlights and tail lights. I can have a 100 watt light on the front, two tw uh, 10 watt LEDs in the back. That'll be far brighter than like a truck headlight or a spot headlight uh, or like a spotlight. So we'll probably tone that down a little bit. I also want to have turn signals. So with my right hand, I can, or no, probably the left hand, I can just flip a switch and it'll click on a turn signal. Or flip the other switch and it'll, uh, flip the other way and it'll click on a turn signal. That way I don't have to mess with turning with my hands. Or, so I don't have to mess with signaling with my hands. I want to tack weld all the bolts down so no, nobody can just undo with the uh, any of the stuff like steal a wheel or anything like that, especially the front hub motor. Also, I think though if I if I tack weld each bolt down, that'll really help me because then they won't loosen from vibration. So it'll just be a little tack weld, just enough to where you couldn't break it easily with a wrench. But but you could still grind it off if you if you really needed to work on it, which it wouldn't be that hard. And then I want to be able to weld some bike locks to the bike, to where I don't have to worry about maybe. I mean, now this is just optional, but it'd be nice if I had a bike lock where each end, like it was like just like a chain or a steel cable that was welded to the frame. So. I didn't have to worry about hooking it back on the bike. It was always it's always welded directly onto the frame of the bike. That'd be kind of interesting. I'll still play around with that idea. But anyway, there's there's tons of ways to upgrade this, and I'm pretty happy. First, I'm going to be upgrading the charging system because charging at one amp is kind of slow. I'm going to see about negating the entire IMAX B6 system and just either building my own 48 volt balance charger or finding where I can buy one for cheap. But either way. I'm pretty happy. Hope you guys had a good day and hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.